is good YouTube, my name is George. Welcome to another episode of Senior Year. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about why girls in skateboarding deserve the spotlight. I came up with this idea just because of things I see on the internet, like completely unwarranted hate that girls get in skateboarding for becoming well-known, famous, sponsored, etc. Really, it's guy skateboarders hating on girl skateboarders. And I just feel like the need to talk about that and, and tell you something that I think is obvious and probably many of you think is obvious too, but, but that girls deserve this attention and success that they're starting to finally get in skateboarding. And somebody left an Instagram suggestion when I was looking for ideas, telling me to talk about controversial topics. And apparently this is controversial to some people. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. The first thing I'm gonna do in this video is catch a skate session. It is freaking freezing. Winter has been not too good to us lately, but I need to catch a skate session. Hopefully the skate park is dry. So if you wanna join me on that session, let's go. But if you wanna skip right to the discussion, it will be at this time, let's get it. Well, I made it to Middlefield and at least half of the skate park is dry. Not everything, as you can see, but let's try to work on some stuff. Every single person, I swear, at this skate park has really nice back tails on transition. I'm gonna try to figure that out, at least a bad one. And it's uh, already starting to snow. You guys wanna say what's up? Go ahead. So we got the squad here today. How you guys doing? Good. Hello. Anybody got a move for me? Do that one, do that one. Do that one. Do That was pretty sick. So here's the plan right now. I actually watched a Ninja Lifestyle trick tip and he really emphasized doing 5-0 back tail. 5-0 tail! That seems manageable. So let's do that and then let's try to do it all in one. I've been gone from home for a minute now. I've been on the road and flying in and out. All you've done is hold us down and never complain. Maybe it's time for me to take a different route. So have your bags packed and we'll be on our way. Or we can get a city and go on a day. We can take it slow, there is no need to race. Seldom I hate, but what I can't stand is this weight. And the weight of the world on my shoulders, learning so much as I'm older, but I'm afraid. What? First try? Guys, this never happens to me, but I think I just did it first try. Uh, now it's time to see if that was a fluke or if I can repeat it. Let's see, and the snow is coming down. Stay dry. The world on my shoulders learning so much as I'm older, but I'm afraid maybe I may be missing a main thing. I remember when he used to work. So obviously I'm not scooping them really good into there. I'm kind of just turning them quickly, but I guess it's just one of those tricks where they never worked, but today happens to be the day that I figured them out. I also think that 5-0 to back tail tip really helped me out because if you think about it, doing the back tail is just doing that really fast. So I'm stoked. I definitely progressed today by learning that trick. I say this all the time, but this is why I get out here in the winter, even when it's really cold. Just dork around and see what I can figure out, see how I can progress. And that's what I did today, and I feel better for it. Despite all the warm days this winter, I guess it's still winter. The snowflakes are falling on Aero Skako hat, quite pretty. And I'm gonna switch to my old camera because I don't care about it as much as my new camera. And I'm gonna get some more back tails. The backsmith was not that healthy, but let me tell you guys something. Literally a matter of days ago, backtail and backsmith made no sense to me. I was like, I'm never gonna freaking learn these tricks, but I also like committed to setting out to learn them despite how they made no sense to me. It's crazy how it happens. Like you'll have multiple sessions where these tricks make no sense to you. You try all day and you feel like you get nowhere, but then the sessions like this where they kind of click for you is proof that all those tries were worth it. Wanna be by your side from the evening to the daytime. Happy to finally hold you because I'm so over the FaceTime. So let's just get out of town. I want to travel with you. I've been in some places, but want to see it from your point of view because I think it's valuable. Wow. You bring out the best of me. I feel like I can conquer anything long as you're next to me. And we got so much work to do, but right now I'm just trying to chill so we can raise our family because that brings out so many thrills. This life is an adventure and we done paid off all our bills so we can go wherever we want. Pitch me so I know it's real. Kiss me so I know it's real. 
I need some public display I know that ain't your thing But baby we on display Baby you on display So we can play some oldies and just set the mood We're so happy I get to come home to you We can take the day off I have clearly outstayed my stay. It's getting dangerous. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not sure why I'm so out of breath, but I feel good. I'm glad I came out here. The front tail kickflip, at least it's a start. Now let's go back to campus and address the topic of this video. To answer the title of the video, girls deserve the spotlight in skateboarding for the same reason that anyone does. Hard work and skateboarding. What actually made me want to address this topic is an episode of The Nine Club with Skate Moss. And skate Moss is a popular Instagram skater with over 100,000 followers. Her name is Victoria. She's done a clothing line with Grizzly Grip Tape. And I believe based on her bio that she is sponsored by Sovereign Skateboard. So obviously Victoria has seen a lot of success in skateboarding, which is great. But if you look at that episode of The Nine Club, Club, it is by far their most disliked video. So first of all, when I came across this video a month ago, I was astonished by how much hate it got. I felt the need to drop a comment and I said that the fact this is their most disliked video says something about how backwards minded skateboarding is. I was immediately hit with this comment, which actually I believe sums up most guys justification for hating on girls success in skateboarding. And this person says that skaters want credible skaters on the show, not culture vultures trying to make a buck off people's way of life. So if you go on this girl's profile, she clearly loves skateboarding. Yet people in the comment section like to assume that she doesn't love skateboarding. But I believe she said in the Nine Club interview that she's only been skating for maybe a year. I've only been skating for like a year and a half. Okay. Really? really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Right. And if you can learn how to tray flip within a year of skateboarding, that is freaking crazy. <laughs> You do not learn how to tray flip if you don't love skateboarding. That takes so much hard work. I know everyone who is trying to learn how to tray flip right now knows that for a fact. There's no way you would spend that much time on your skateboard if you don't love it. So the argument that these girls are doing it just for popularity or whatever is total crap. And to be honest, I think that people are just jealous of her success. There are guy skaters out there who feel entitled to success because they can land the same tricks as her. They can hard flip a 12 stair and I can't and they deserve to be here over me. Well, okay. No. no. Yeah. Those are the DMs that I get. But really, that's not how skateboarding works. If you want to make it in skateboarding, you have to work very hard. If you're going the social media route, you have to post extremely consistently. You have to post good content. And that is why brands are attracted to her and are working with her. And I would bet you that the guys hating on her predominantly don't work hard at all. They just feel like they deserve this stuff that they're not actually working towards. I believe specifically girls who are making it on social media are subject to more hate than girls who are taking the more traditional path in skateboarding. I'll be at the skate park and I'll wear like a sports bra and it's like, you're just wearing a sports bra because you want this amount of likes and this amount of views. And it's like, I'm not fucking posting this video for you. It's just apparent to me that it's jealousy that makes people think that girls can just get famous like this. I mean, I hear this all the time at the skate park. It makes me cringe so hard when a guy skater comes up to me and says, if I was a girl, I would be sponsored. Come on, man, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Like, just don't, don't say that. First of all, if you were a girl, you would not feel as entitled as you feel to go to the skate park and share in this male dominated space. No girl skated in Utah. Utah ever. Like I was the only girl when I ever went to a skate park. You can't just like wish you were a girl and feel like that would make your life so easy because that's ridiculous. Anyways, let's read some more of these comments. 10 bucks says she won't be skating in two to three years. Sorry, but she is a 100% Instagram poser. Don't be fooled. Grizzly knew that was a quick profit. That's why they did it. An Instagram poser is not in the barracks. Kind of disappointed that this girl is on because it shows that all you need to do to get recognition in this world is to be good looking and mediocre at something. Plus she is annoying too. This comment essentially is announcing to the world that you think this girl is attractive and you are assigning her attractiveness to her success, but that's actually not true. Like I said, it takes hard work to get anywhere in social media. Skaters like to draw this distinction between the core girl skaters versus the social media girl skaters where the social media girl skaters get more hate. This comment feels like the, the male skateboarding world is trying to define the box that female skateboarders are supposed to be into in order to get respect but the truth is what we want to accept people for who they are like why we, we, no 
Dude, Jesus Christ. I mean, and the fact that these comments have hundreds of thumbs up, you cannot say skateboarding is completely inclusive and welcoming if you're gonna, if these comments are gonna blow up. I just think we all, we all need to strive for a place where any person of any identity can enter skateboarding and not feel so intimidated by this type of hate that is going on. That's why it's great that these girl communities are finally developing. Instagram is so huge in the girl skateboarding world because it's giving girls communities to find other girl skaters. Do you do you not agree with me that you see a crap ton of female skaters now than oh, yeah. you did oh, yeah, yeah, three yeah. years ago? Yeah. Social media had a big plan now. Because of yeah. Instagram. If your friends say some sexist shit at the skate park, make a comment about it because that's the stuff that generally will move skateboarding in the right direction. I believe we are going in the right direction. Leave a comment down below. How do you feel about this general hate that some girls get in skateboarding? Do you feel included in skateboarding when you go to the skate park? Leave it in the comments down below. I will see you guys for the next video. P -p Peace. I've been gone from home for a minute now I've been on the road and flying in and out All you've done is hold us down and never complain Maybe it's time for me to Let's turn those lights on, baby